This is a story about Charlie. Charlie is homeless and he has mental health issues. His morning usually starts like this. He wakes up in the morning and he stumbles around and tries to organize his day. He usually sits around for a little while thinking where he can get some food or who can he go and visit. But Charlie's day, it's really, really hectic. When you think of it, Charlie loves traveling. And he got so many contacts and friends and people or whatever's on his mind. Sometimes you wonder if it's Charlie's mind or somebody else in Charlie's head. Because Charlie sees images or invisible people and Charlie also hears a lot of voices. So from time to time you wonder why Charlie runs around. Is it because he's been told? following these voices in his head or it's because he is just up and ready anywhere anytime any place charlie you can usually see charlie any part of london charlie is sometimes in some unbelievable places and he turns up with some things that you wonder charlie how did you get these kind of things or get yourself in those kind of situations you know I look for me, for me, no I'm go with them camera. Go from side, I'm a boy. I'm go away. Sure. Let me go take the bus and go look, see if I see the girl down. So, you know, them rascal people follow me everywhere with the camera. Charlie has a slight, uh, well, what would we call like a split personality. Sometimes I find when Charlie's not had a drink, he has a broad Caribbean accent. And other times, maybe when he's high or he's had a drink or whatever, Charlie has a wide London accent. And it's really amazing sometimes when you see Charlie and you hear him. Charlie's history really was his divorce caused him to have a breakdown, a nervous breakdown. And then he just started drifting. And this is where we take up the story. Charlie all over London, Charlie walking, walking free. Charlie all over London, oh Charlie. Charlie was quite successful back in the days. He studied social science, psychology, and he was a social worker. He ran the community center down in the south part of London. With a friend of his, they were almost like brothers, uh, called Roger. It's probably been about 20 years since Charlie has seen Roger. In fact, I think Charlie has kind of forgotten about Roger because Charlie doesn't really look back. Since that divorce, it really wrecked him. Charlie was really a kind, loving guy, popular guy. And Charlie all over London, Charlie walking, walking free. Charlie all over London. Oh, Charlie. I can't find nothing today. But I'm hungry, you know. I want some food to eat. You want to see how me I get skinny, you know. Backside, watch out. My shoes is a drop down to us. You know, business if anybody see. Where the rest them. <laughs> you can't do me nothing. Fire for them. They're my wicked to us. Chuck. Charlie all over London, Charlie walking, walking free. Charlie all over London, oh Charlie. I better go get money from Bonnie. Better go south. Charlie decided to make his way to South London. He had some money to collect from a friend of his that he had sold something to some time back. And Charlie thought this would be a good day to go to South London and to see what he can do. Charlie was a serious man when it came to his money and he always made sure he got it. So Charlie got on the bus and started his journey to South London. When Charlie got to Stockwell, he started thinking. 
Charlie got off the bus at Brixton, waited a short while for Bunny, got his money, and then went on his way. It was only two more bus rides Charlie had before he got to Battersea. When Charlie got off the bus, he headed for his favorite hideout, the rooftop of a tower block. That's where he felt safe and he could hide all his things and he could keep himself warm sitting by the ventilation. Charlie loved it here. He had time where he could just be free and think and watch the world underneath his feet. Charlie loved it here. After having a really good sleep, Charlie headed out for the night. He made his way to Mr. Byron's restaurant, the Caribbean restaurant that he loved so much because how they really looked after him. They gave him the food that's left over at night and you will see Mr. Byron giving Charlie a big bag of food. So whenever Charlie's in South London, this is one stop he's really got to make because he knows he's got uh, a lot of food and he can feed a lot of people. So Charlie looked forward to getting his food and then going down and visiting, seeing some of his friends he hasn't seen for a while. So, you know, this was something important to Charlie. Charlie all over London, Charlie walking, walking free. Charlie all over London, oh Charlie. Mr. Byron! Thank you for the food, Mr. Byron. Man, you is a savior, you know. God bless you. Charlie made his way down to the West End, where he shared the food that Mr. Byron gave him with some of his friends, homeless, and anyone who was hungry. After everyone had eaten, 
Charlie then told his friends that he had to go down by the docks. So he said goodbye and off he went. Charlie all over London, Charlie walking, walking free. Charlie all over London, oh Charlie. Charlie always liked walking down the docks because he would bump into some of his friends. He used to actually live on a boat, but the people that he lived on a boat with, they went on a world tour, a sailing tour. So Charlie was making his way down to the docks to see if they had come back because they were people that he really got on well with. After searching the docks two times over, Charlie could not see his friends. So he decided to sit with some other homeless people and have a drink and have a little sleep. By the break of dawn, Charlie was up and out. He was on the road again. Charlie was on the move again. Always, no matter what the time is. Charlie was meeting up with Maxine. Maxine would help Charlie by taking him to a place where he can get cleaned up, he can get a shower and get some coffee or something like that. She was a good woman. So Charlie raced across town because Charlie was one to always keep an appointment. If Charlie was going to meet you and he never had a diary or anything like that, but if you made a date with Charlie, he'll be there. He'll be there on time. See Maxie in there. Give thanks for your man because she make me can clean up myself, you know. A good person that, you know, me glad to me know her a long time, you know her still, you know. Yes, man, good girl. At least me can get for beard off today. You are Maxine. You are, love? Yeah, man, I saw you go, you know, me glad to you is here today. No problem, mate. How you doing? Girl, me just up and down, see him here. Nice to see you, though. Charlie was on the road again. After having a shower and saying goodbye to Maxine, Charlie was on the road. He was heading for a nice place in the park where he could have a beer. If I see a bus now, I'll take the bus and it's only two stops. Wait, it look like when I come now, make me hurry up and cross the road and catch it. Ride it for the two stop and go sit down in the park. Relax myself. Unfair. Unfair. I don't you remember your son down If you was around, you would have been there. 
a mini slice. Rasta Jack. A slice, man. Boss you do, no? Oh, that. A mini Rasta Jack. Oh, slice. Yes, a mini, man. What you say? You all right? Tell you, say, me I come check you. Me know so you don't come, you know? Yeah, man. Me know so you are come. You are investigator. <laughs> Even though you say you don't come, because you smell the party from the road road in it, you follow it. You know, say you don't come, you come in, come in, man. Yeah, man, I'm coming in right now, Rasta Jack. Yes, it. we speak. All right, cool. Okay, take a seat, slice. Take a seat. So we all do now. We go. Bless him, Rasta Jack. Respect, you know. Why? You want to see me walk and come up? I said to myself, say, me start smelling at my nose. From down so, box, I don't have the traffic light. I start smelling to rot. And I said to myself, let me fall and see where this smell has come from. From day so, you tell me, say, you can't smell the party. Boy, you, you have a real detective. You have a real detective, you know. Me I tell you, I'm undercover. Anyway, and this may lead me straight to your yard, you know. Rasta Jack. So me I wonder how you have one ready there. Ya cook. Yeah. So you mean to tell me, sir, feel your nose coming like a wonder nose. What? Me know, me know say so you come here, cause you smell the party. Hey, 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 do that slice. You know that? The party them. Me say to myself, say. I have put on a couple for you. What? Come in, we'll see your love party. Are you a good man? We can go be going to party. You know, he's a man you love party. You know? Yes, why? You know, we'll see me have to come for the party. You know? Yes, I like that, you know. Mm hmm. For real? We could have eat some of them. No, Rasta Jack. I tell you, we love some party right now, you know. I know what I'm going to tell you, say your cream. But to rot it, the way you love it, Smiley could have said your cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hear me follow the smell, them smell sweet. You know what you mean? Beef party? Yes, man. Wow. And chicken too? Mm hmm. Lord, I have to taste them. Anyway, I'm going to look for the man. Oh, you mean? May I look for Charlie and Anula, you know? Rasta Jack. 
I'm going to go to the station. I'm going pass my three times. I'm going to leave it. I'm look good. I'm going to see Charlie down there for two with the cup. You sure say I am? Yeah. I have a cup in my hand and big money. I just tip to and pass him like me not even know him. Because him don't look too good. I'm going to have a bottle of wine inside him foot. A bottle of foot? A chew? A chew? Yes. Serious thing. I know if we can make him brain switch the glue and then come back to reality because I can't understand how the man go make the girl turn him in a walking disaster till he make money. I think I have two big now. Yes, I have two big now. Yeah, well, you tell me when we can go down there and the two will go down there go look for you. I found the same jacket now. Well, I almost see 20 years in my band that jacket there. With a big, big leather bag, no, I am. I must see him, you see. One of them time, the Rasta Jack, you fi come with me and we go down there. It's not too far. Well, nobody say no more. The two hours we go down there, go look for him. All right. Boy, I'm out of water for the party them day. What? I see your lick your mouth there. Your lick your mouth like. <laughs> Anyway, come and go for the party then. You clean your teeth, no way. Come and go for the party. Come here, Masa. Come and go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guess who me see the other day? Who that? Charlie. She look rough. What do you mean rough? Charlie look like he's homeless. He got some dirty clothes on him. Yeah? Yeah. And I saw him begging on this road with a cup in his hand. I lie that me can't believe that, Charlie. You tell the truth. Charlie gone real dumb. So you have to go and look for Charlie. Boy, I may have to go look for him then. Where you saying there? He's in the center. Not Don't so I far, Charlie gone? Yeah. yeah. I don't look good at all. Boy, all right, I'm gonna look for him. Boy, I can't tell when last I see Charlie, you know. And now you tell me, say Charlie out the street and I beg money with cup. No, man, I have to go look for Charlie because me and Charlie go back a long way, you know. Since he broke up with him, missus, it's like say Charlie gone off scale. All we can hear say is Charlie kind of gone mad. Why? I have to go check him out after work. <laughs> the few party where Rasta Jack give me, they hold me, see, man. I tell you, they're nice. They're nice, man. Me eat two of the chicken and one of the, one of the beef. Rasta Jack, no joke, you know. Party them sweet, man. They're the best in the world. Me, we say so. Slice, say so. Yes, I mean in slice. I made the panel commission. See? Now go look for Charlie. A bridge in tell him say Charlie always I walk up and down and I go eat in our food shop. So we have to check it out to see if we can find. Something first, you know. I think I look for this Charlie, you know. You see, I was in a Southland on him there. More time during the day, they say you can't find him, you know. Southland on. So we have a pump. Look like a further door, so we have to go. The man tell me, say, yeah, so I'm down here in the building, but we can't see him. Anyway, I'm going to walk and see what I'm going on. You man, I want to find you, see. 
The only place I do is this station. I climb me and forget to take the bus because I can't see me. You know. Can't see me at all about you. Yeah. So I go cross over and see if I can go take the bus. You know. Yeah, man. Look at me. Yeah. Anyway, let me see if I can find Charlie. Yeah, so they say I'm going to go hang out. I don't know where I'm going to hang out so far anyway. Back foot. I can't find him. Why? Look like I can't see him in the boat. I'm not in the boat at all. Look at look if you come around on this room. Because them saying usually they're on the other street. The, the alleyway. Yeah. Anyway. So, walk in the corner shop. You know? Walks in the corner shop if you know. You know Charlie? You know Charlie? You don't know Charlie, do you? Sorry? Charlie. Charlie, say. The man say he don't know Charlie and you know, don't know him, so. I'm going to carry on and look if Mrs. Charlie. Just miss the bus there. Eh? Like, I have to wait for the next bus. Anyway, we just walk. This Charlie hard to find this man. Hey, I'll wait for the bus. See if we can head over South London and go look for this Charlie. Fine, sir. Charlie. From East London to South London, probably in the West London. Don't know where this man could be. I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him, man. Next station is Elephanton Castle. Change here for Bakerloo Line and National Rail Services. Charlie, man. A Charlie? Who sent me? I'm Charlie. Slice send me come. Who Slice? Slice? <laughs> Why? You don't know Slice. I said to give people my address if you come to. Anyway, another thing we talk with Slice about that. So I'll go on. I want to come so early. All right, come in. Come in, come take a seat, Charlie. Yes, man. So tell me now. How you have managed yourself for the past 20 years? I mean, I see you. Hey, Charlie. Long time. It's a whole heap of years, Jack. Why? Where am I for start? I don't know. From when my head take me, I do all kind of things. This, that, and that again. Rasta chap, I'm going to take you. That's all no? Why? I don't, I don't, I don't skip the dark here, Charlie. Me here, say. I know up here years and years and because I can't see you for over 20 years. I'm mean, here and I say no man. I say in slice, I'm mean, here in slice, we go look for you. You can't tell me say you all there big money in a cup and all them something you know. Go on out here. Go on. Look like you want to beat off Charlie. You want to change all your clothes man. Kind of so out here and let me open the window. Get your ass. Anyway, Charlie, I tell the man, say, if I see you have a good cup, I'll kick you out of your hand. But 
tinduksen lokaalio, ajo konkoisimi, saavuttiin ennakaan medakikin otetaan sujua. Enivyä, ja vaan spiiruumiin ja dehousia sanoo, vaan spiiruumi jokuda rent. I make the wallet for about six weeks first. Till you can fix up yourself and, you know, can cover it. Got all the bills have a bit stable. You know. So you don't get off. Come go eat some. I mean, you like party to you and slice come in like one. There's no party around there. Maybe you make you eat a cup of party and drink a cup of tea. You see it? All right then. How are you got the oh, You still got the leather bag? Rocks, you want to let about the how much years you have the bag Yes, but you know, see it. Now you're virgin. Now you're virgin, I mean, I forgot that. Yes, whatever I go on in your head or whatever, we can work on it together, cooperate and work on it together so you can get better. Because, you know, from you want to talk about it, make we talk about it, the talking is the cure. Me would never try to reject you and go on like, yes, because you're my virgin, I feel the pain too. I'm going to show you how to ride out of this cloud where you're in, you know. How oh, you come to the door a station and make money? <laughs> All the money. Yeah, people are giving money sometimes, just, yeah. It look bad, no? I saw things bad. It's a pastime. It's a pastime. What? Really? You go do it for pastime? Because you have a pastime, so you might as well do something. I mean, just, me just out there, I just I hold up the cup. So you hold up the cup and beg? Well, I'll get it by this, at least some money are coming in. When you are rest and relax. So we are do we are, we are do all at night time. We go look for Mr. Byron and, and him give me some food. Oh Mr. Mr. Byron feed, you know. I just like if me want a, a something to eat, you know. Man get hungry, you know. Alright, so Mr. Byron I do good. Mr. Byron a good man, you know. Yes. Mr. Byron, yeah man, him saved me. Him saved me. That's why when I'm hungry. Uh, Mr. Byron. Mm. Blessings. 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 So you do all right then? Okay. All right. I'm going to make you eat the beer. Don't come. Show you the bathroom and where you room there. Because I'm going to this room, you know. And I want to be, fix up yourself. Sort out yourself. You understand? What do you sort out yourself? Fix up yourself, man. Yeah. You know, can start doing a little thing, you know. Yes. But then, anyway, yeah, different things are born now. Charlie, things are moved different. So, we have a fine of you know. You know, make it get back into the system, you know. God, all the people let me show you, so they want to blood to see, you know, so fix up yourself and one of them time we can go arrange that. See? All right, come and go show you the room upstairs. Yes, ma'am. Right, thank you, Master Jack. Give thanks, Master Jack. Bless. They are nice from when you met them for a long time, that's what that them nice. Believe you me, man. Mm. Mm. Why Rasta Jack, me give thanks so you put me up, you know. 